Hey, what's going on YouTube? Coming at you with another video here today. I'm going to be breaking down the NUPOC program, which is arguably the best deal in the Navy. I'm going to be going over the benefits of the program, the career paths after graduation, and the requirements to join. All right, so I'll start with the uh, benefits of the NUPOC program, right? So the number one benefit is that you're getting paid to attend university full-time. Uh, and depending on when you sign up and your location, this can equate to over $200,000 in total compensation because you're paid at the level of an E6. I'll throw on the uh, screen what an E6 makes in uh, Charleston, South Carolina, just for reference, uh, but I'll put in the description the RMC calculator, and that's where you can calculate it for your location. You're also gonna get a $30,000 a session bonus uh, when you pass your interviews in DC and enter the program. Uh, that's assuming that you select to be a submarine officer, a surface worker officer, or a naval reactors engineer. Uh, you also don't have to deal with any of the ROTC course requirements, wearing a uniform, or the physical training in the mornings uh, while you're in school. Uh, you're just paid to get good grades, which is a pretty sweet deal. Uh, you're also going to have a job lined up out of college. You're going to gain marketable experience, and then you're also going to have a top secret clearance, which is uh, extremely marketable on the outside. Uh, you're also going to get the 100% GI Bill, uh, which is something that ROTC graduates can't don't have uh, unless they serve additional time, uh, which also gives you the yellow ribbon pr uh, program. And uh, basically what that means is you're going to get a master's uh, later on that's going to be at little to no cost to you. Uh, and then finally, you're going to get all the other benefits that come with military service. And if you're interested in those, definitely check out my uh, video on the pros and cons of military service for a, a holistic perspective on that. All right, so now I'm going to talk about what the uh, jobs look like after college and the uh, career progression of those jobs. Right, so by being part of the program, you incur a five-year active duty commitment and a three-year reserve commitment, uh, which can be in either the inactive or active reserves. Uh, so the positions available are being a submarine officer, a nuclear surface warfare officer, a power school instructor, prototype instructor, or naval reactors engineer. So if you choose to be a submarine officer, you're going to go through OCS, which is a 12-week course in Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, that's where you're going to learn to be a military uh, officer. Then you're going to go to uh, the Nuclear Power Training Command and uh, Submarine Officer Basic course. That's going to be about a year and a half. Uh, and then you're going to move on to your engineering devo tour on your submarine. That's going to be about three years, at which point you'll have the option to extend to take a follow-on shore tour or to get out from sea. It's a little bit different if you decide to go the uh, surface warfare route. Uh, so you're going to go to your conventional division officer tour first. That's going to be about two years and is typically on a uh, destroyer or a cruiser or an LCS. Uh, then you're going to go to the nuclear training pipeline um, in Charleston, South Carolina for one year. Uh, and then you're going to go to uh, a carrier and do your engineering division officer tour for about two to two and a half years uh, before you either get out from sea or you decide to extend for a follow-on shore tour. And if you get selected for a uh, power school instructor, prototype instructor, or naval reactors engineer, your career progression is going to look a little different. So power school instructors and prototype instructors are going to go to officer development school for five weeks in Newport, Rhode Island. It's basically an abbreviated OCS. Uh, you're then going to go to power school here in Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, if you're a power school instructor, you will stay at power school for the duration of your commitment. Uh, if you're a prototype instructor, you'll pass power school and then move on to prototype uh, to teach there uh, for the duration of your commitment. If you're a naval reactors engineer, you're then going to go. You're going to go to officer development school as well, uh, but then you will go to naval reactors headquarters in Washington D.C., where you'll uh, be involved in the engineering uh, and design of uh, current and future classes of submarines. All right, and finally, I'm going to talk about the uh, requirements to be in the program. So, one, you got to be a U.S. citizen, graduating between the ages of 19 and 29. There are waivers uh, that can be approved for this. Uh, additionally, you need to have completed one year of calculus and calculus-based physics. Uh, and then you'll have to pass your technical interviews in Washington, D.C. You also need to meet the uh, physical standards of the Navy, uh, as well as not having any medically disqualifying conditions for service. Uh, and then you'll need to uh, be able to pass a semi-annual fitness test and uh, maintain good grades while you're in the program. If you're still interested, I would encourage you to check out the uh, links in the description uh, to learn more information and then also reach out to a recruiter. So if you guys found this video useful, definitely uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more information. Cheers, guys.